Republican Congressman Steve King, who has been under fire for his latest racist remarks uh, involving white nationalism when he was doing an interview with The New York Times. He just took to the floor and speaking before his colleagues, uh, holding this disapproval vote, uh, that this resolution of disapproval against him, uh, which he will be voting for, uh, meaning he will be voting in favor of disapproving of himself uh, as well. So here is the congressman. And I look at this language that's here, this resolution that the House of Representatives once again rejects white nationalism and white supremacy and hateful expressions of intolerance that are contradictory to the values that define the people of the United States. I agree with that language I've said. But I would add to it the language that I used on this floor in this very place last Friday afternoon when I said I would strengthen it by adding my previous statements which not only correctly rejects white nationalism and white supremacy as evil ideologies, but also condemn anyone that supports this evil and bigoted ideology that saw in its ultimate expression the systematic murder of six million innocent Jewish lives. That's where I stand. That's what I believe. So I want to compliment the gentleman from South Carolina for bringing this resolution. And I've carefully studied every word in this resolution. And even though I'd add some more that are stronger language, I agree with the language in it. So I want to ask my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, let's vote for this resolution. I'm putting up a yes on the board here because what you say here is right and it's true and it's just. And so is what I have stated here on the floor of the House of Representatives. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I yield back the balance of my time. All right, so let's go to Lauren Fox there uh, on Capitol Hill for us. And so uh, explain for us, he, he is putting the yes on the board, meaning he is also voting in favor of this resolution against him, uh, Congressman Steve King. W what does this actually mean for him, consequence-wise? Well, that's right. You have it right. He's going to be voting for this resolution to disapprove of himself. And just minutes before he went to the floor, he came out of his office. There were a bunch of cameras here. He didn't stop and talk to us, but he did go to the floor, say he's voting for this resolution. And generally, these resolutions are just of disapproval. It doesn't actually mean anything of consequence. What does have a consequence is the fact that Republicans voted yesterday to take away his committee jobs. And that is a huge deal because members of Congress, that is how they prove that they are working for their district. So while this resolution doesn't have a consequence, other than it's embarrassing, other than colleagues are going to the floor saying that they don't approve of what you had to say, including your Republican colleagues, what happened yesterday was Republicans voted not to seat him on any of the committees he served on previously. That's small business, agriculture, judiciary issues that Steve King cares deeply about. And Republican colleagues are saying that he should resign at this point. That is mm. a huge discussion to have. A huge discussion to have is, as you mentioned, House Republican leaders uh, are removing him from his committee assignments, but I know a lot of people say that is not enough. Uh, Lauren, thank you very much.